हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी वांट टॉक अबाउट हाइड्रोलिक पावर सप्लाई दिस हाइड्रोलिक पावर सप्लाई इज मेनली कंट्रोल बाय द ऑक्सिलरी कंट्रोल यूनिट एज आई हैव मेंशन इन द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द मेन इंजन कंट्रोल सिस्टम If you want to have a complete knowledge of a main engine please do watch the complete series of main engine ME series in my from the place section In today topic we will cover what is SPS how the lubricating and cooling oil system is provided how the pump is activated and what are the different type of filter cartridges and how it is been installed so let's begin the video as you can see this is the topic of hydraulic power supply basically the oil is coming from a common system and what system we are talking about let's see here so basically this is a lubricating and cooling oil system the oil from the sump is coming here and through a lube oil pump it is been pressurized to around 2 to 5 bar and it is passed through a lube oil cooler and depending upon temperature it is been bypassed or it is been passed through a cooler and then it go through a full flow filter having a micron of 15 micron filter and after passing from 15 micron filter it enter the hps unit so what you are seeing is this connection which is coming here is coming after passing from lube oil pump cooler and 15 micron filter and then is coming here now let's see from here what is happening so this is the hydraulic power supply system so basically the lube oil coming after filtration and cooling from 50 micron filter is entering and one part is going for bearing and piston cooling of the main engine so from here the one part is going for bearing and piston cooling purpose and the other part is again going for minute filtration through a automatic backwash filter and after being further filtered to up to 6 micron to 10 micron it is been going to a engine driven pump axial piston type and after that it is been pressurized to a pressure of 200 to 300 bar and the servo oil is generated and that servo oil is going for actuation purpose of for actuation purpose of fuel and exhaust valve so it is very simple now so the oil is coming from here after passing through the auto backwash filter it is been pressurized by the engine driven pump or electronically started start up pump and it is going as a servo oil pressurized for exhaust and fuel valve actuation and therefore it is known as hydraulically powered supply now as you can see this is the filter unit which is coming from here and it is passing through this now old plant mainly used to have filtration of 10 micron but new plant is further upgraded and it is been supplied with 6 micron filter like here as you can see this is a 10 micron filter okay and this is the 6 micron filter 0806 is the production year production and month and this is the year and this is the production month and this is the year and as you can see the filter cartridge number 
and this is a manufacture filter mesh code and this is a filter cartridge number so different is there in the filtration micron filter cartridge now when the backwash filter is too dirty to filter at that time a backup filter is provided which is will carry out the job even if the engine is in running condition and we can carry out the maintenance of the auto backwash filter okay now this engine driven pump of axial type is basically providing pressure for hydraulic and actuation of exhaust and fuel pump and this two engine driven pump is provided which will assist in the starting when the axial piston pump engine driven is not up to the speed as it is the engine is not running up to the speed at that time this electronically hydraulic starting pump will start and will build up the pressure and will carry out the fuel valve and exhaust valve activation and after the system come to a correct rpm it will be taken over by the axial piston engine driven and the electrical pump will stop so i hope you understand how the hydraulic power supply system work this is a part 1 of the hps system the part 2 will come soon in which i will show you how this axial piston pump is designed and how it is attached with a gear arrangement with a gear arrangement and how it is engine driven and how it is attached and how it is rotating being rotated in part 2 so please remain tuned and if you like the video please hit the like button and please do subscribe button. please do subscribe and please do share this video in your facebook and whatsapp group so that more marine friend can know about this youtube channel and come to this platform and can we can share the knowledge together please friend have a good day and please be safe in your home have a good day friend